Hey guys, it's Kevin again, this is Gamer Review for pre Liars Season 4, Episode 4, Thrown from the Ride, and wow, this was the best episode of the season, we got a lot of new information this episode, especially like, um, you know, new information about uh, who could have killed Mrs. De Laurentiis, we got some information about that, um, a lot more about Allie and stuff, so a lot more of some things that might have happened to her, and I just really, really love this episode, I've been loving this season, and this episode was fantastic, I loved it, so... Basically, in the very beginning, as we know, Hannah in the last episode really wanted to change her look and everything. And right in the beginning of the episode, we see that that's exactly what she has done. She has changed her look. She has a new hairstyle, which is much shorter and actually has very dark um, um, highlights in it, um, which I like. I think it's um, I think it's nice that she changed her hair, you know, a little something different. And she and Arya find Shauna's copy of The Scarlet Letter. However... Some, um, there are mysterious passages marked, and they don't know why, but there are mysterious passages marked, so whatever that means. Um, so Allie's preparing herself to go back to school and is still getting over the death of her mother, and her father is not happy about the idea of her returning to Rosewood, and he wants her to move out of the town altogether, um, because he just th does not, not think it is safe for her. Think about it. If your wife was murdered in the same state that your daughter disappeared in and people, like, thought she was dead and was murdered, I'd pretty much probably think the same thing. And Allie begged her dad not to move by saying she needs her friends too badly to move away from them. As much as I feel bad for Allie, I do have I do kind of sympathize with Kenneth. I do understand why he did what he did. However, Allie does have a point. He can't just l make her leave. Like, she gets a choice. She's 18. She can leave if she wants to. Um... So Spencer tells her mother that her dad and Melissa are hiding something, but Mrs. Hastings thinks that Melissa is only hiding getting back together with Ren and doesn't want to talk about anything unpleasant. So, yeah, that's kind of bad for her, unfortunately. That's not good. Um, so, yeah, um, she doesn't really want to talk about anything unpleasant, so she's not really bringing up the real problems. So Lucas tells Mona that he's having second thoughts about their plan regarding Allison, um, and honestly, I understand his point. He wants to take pity on her, not punish her further, but Mona won't let up. She wants to continue on and tells him that she faked her kidnapping. Um, I can understand why he wants to, why he feels pity for Allison, because Allison honestly has, think about it, Allison's dis been, um, you know, disappeared all these all these years and now she can finally come back and why make her life more miserable when she's already really upset she just lost her mother i really do understand um lucas's thoughts here why make her life more miserable when she's already miserable it makes perfect sense as to why he's you know feels pity on her um so emily remember that whole girl that emily um you know um ran into last week that kind of made her and Paige break up well she's now p coaching that new girl and she actually runs into Paige after their uh, painful breakup, which is very, very awkward, honestly. That's extremely awkward. I mean, anyone who meets up with their ex after they just broke up with them is very, very awkward. So the girls notice that everyone is staring at them at lunch, including Mona, who is freaking Ari out and may know about Shauna's death. As I said, this is the creepiest Mona has ever been in the entire show. I think Mona is just the creepiest that she's ever been this particular season. Um, definitely, she is the creepiest she has ever been. She's never I've never been more freaked out by Mona in, all, in a season like I have this season. Like, this season, she is, like, so, so creepy, and it's really... Just really creepy, so Arya doesn't really know what's going on exactly, so, you know, we can see that Arya, um, is getting a little bit suspicious here, she doesn't know what's going on. So Allie's dad tells her she needs to have a medical exam because the cops required, she doesn't want to, and he worries that she may have been sexually abused, which she denies. However, I'm pretty sure that is what happened, because Allie, as we know, is lying her way out of this. The only people she told the truth to are Emily, Hannah, Spencer, and Arya. She told the, she lied to Detective Holbrook. She lied. She, she's going to lie to her father. I'm pretty sure that she did get sexually abused, and she doesn't want to admit it. Um, we'll talk about that in a second more. I think that, but... Arya then searches Shauna's name, and she finds this video clip from her funeral. Um, you know, she's looking through a whole bunch of stuff about Shauna, basically trying to figure out, you know, there, so there's, something she, there's something fishy here. She doesn't understand what's going on. And basically, um, she's fueling her guilt, and the weirdest part of it was when she was watching this clip, it looked like Shauna actually moved out of her grave, and she might be alive, so that was really creepy, honestly. So, is, is Shauna actually alive? I don't know. That was, that was just creepy. So, Lucas questions Hannah about Allison, and, um, that was pretty, and right in the middle, Hannah then gets a call from Allie, who asks her to go to a medical exam with her, and Emily invites Paige to train with her in Sydney. 
Um, so yeah, that was that was um, a good a big thing. So Spencer then invites Andrew to help fix up her yard after uh, Mrs. De Laurentiis' body was found, and the two find rat poison in the shed. In the shed, and that makes Spencer even more suspicious of her family. She becomes even more suspicious this way, um, which I don't blame her. I really don't. Um, you know, there's rat poison there. Um, Spencer's family, as we know, is kind of crazy. They are friends with Allison. They are relatives to Allison. I can understand why they would do this. I can, I mean, she's completely suspicious now. She is a little bit even more suspicious than she already was, and I can completely understand why she's so suspicious. It makes perfect sense to me. I'm not, it's, I'm not questioning why she's so suspicious, because she has all the right to be suspicious, really. She really does. So then a ver another very awkward scene, Emily, Paige, and Sydney, they all go out for pizza, and they're actually having a very good time. Um, it seems like, you know, they're having a very good time. Emily and Paige are actually talking very well. Sydney and Emily are becoming very good friends. I was happy for them. However, Mona had to ruin it, because Mona's eyeing on Paige, and that, sh that shuts her down. Um, she shuts down because of that, because she's obviously threatened by Mona like everyone else is right now. Everyone else is pretty threatened by Mona, which I can completely understand, because why wouldn't you be threatened by Mona? That's my question. Why wouldn't you be threatened by her? I mean, seriously, why wouldn't you? Um, <clears throat> Alright, so then what happens is Hannah takes an anxious Alice alley to the doctor and becomes worried about her state of mind while the rest of the girls talk about how they've been keeping their distance from Allie. And um, this is a very important scene. I'm very interested in seeing where this is going to go because I really think this is pretty big. So Allie's doctor, Allie has this big scar right on her leg and Allie's doctor is questioning how she got it. And she lies about how she cut it on a rock, she fell out of a car, she makes up all this bullshit. We can pretty much tell it's bullshit, because, we, as we know, her whole story is bullshit. Um, she was not kidnapped or anything like that. What she says happened to her was that she cut her, her leg on a rock when she fell out of a car, and that's what happened to her. So, Hannah knows right away that she's lying. You know, she questions out about the scar, she says, you know... Why aren't you telling me the truth? What actually happened to you? And all Allie says is, once you know something, you can't unknow it. Um, so I'm thinking that either, because uh, Hannah asked Allison a very important question as well, which is, did you do this to yourself? Um, and Allie doesn't really tell her. Um, the most interesting part about all this is that, um, was Allie actually sexually abused? Was, th was there something that she found out that she doesn't want to tell anybody? I pretty much am sure that she found out some information that she doesn't want to tell anyone, and that's why she did it, because she doesn't want anyone else to find out, and the only way to get people to not find out was for her to hurt herself, which people wanted her to do. Um, maybe the person that, you know, found, told her something, told her to hurt herself or something, I don't really know, we'll have to see, but that was definitely a very big scene, a very interesting scene where that's gonna go. So Spencer then catches her mom looking very upset and afraid, and she questions her again. And Spencer learns that Allie's mother was actually planning on telling the police that she believed Spencer had something to do with the murder of the girl in Allie's grave. And that her father may have something to do with Mrs. De Laurentiis' murder. Um, now that's really big, because her mother is just going crazy about this. She doesn't know what to think about this, and honestly, Spencer has a lot to worry about, because her family could be crazy and everything. So, I mean, Spencer, that, that was really big for Spencer. I'm interested, I was interested in seeing where that was going to go. And then probably the most um, craziest scene in the episode, probably, the, well, so far at least, the craziest scene in the episode, is Mona ends up ambushing Paige. Um, she's, she tells her that Allie's dad wants to move and waits to change her mind about going. Um, now, of course, as we know, Paige was on the, um, you know, Hey Allie Club. She's on that side, you know, she is on that side where she wants to be against Allie and turn on Allie. But Mona can see that she's on t with Emily. She, she's with Emily, she's friends with Emily. And she's telling her to go ahead with the plan, but Paige tells her, as much as I want to do it, I really can't do it. And Mona says, look, if you really hate Allie, then go with me, because Emily's on Allie's side. Um, so Paige is a very important decision to make, and Mona says, if you're not with me, you're against me. So, it's a, and then, um, of course, Paige asked her a very big question, which was, have you ever been feared of, have you, have you ever become the thing you've most feared? Um, which is, uh, really big, because I'm thinking what she's trying to say there is that Mona was afraid of people threatening her and things like that, so maybe now she's become that, I don't know. Um, as we know, Mona used to be very nerdy, um, so is, is Paige saying that she's afraid of being popular? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what Paige is saying there, but that's very important. I'll, we'll have to see where that goes, because that's definitely very interesting. So Arya continues to watch the video from Shauna's funeral over and over again. She's constantly watching it. Um, you know, she's constantly watching it, 
and she's staring at her dead body in the casket while Ali searches the internet and finds all sorts of mean comments and photos about herself. And uh, it's it's really sad because there's things like, I hate you, Allison. I want you dead. There's just so many sad things about Allison there. I felt really bad for her, honestly, because Allie's been picked on her whole life. Because Allie's been picked on for all these years because people have thought she's dead. And they said what they wanted to about her because they hated her so much. So, uh, yeah, I, I really understand. You know, Allie has a lot of reasons to be upset, definitely. So I think that was really, really sad, honestly. So, Allie then reveals that someone switched her mother's blood pressure pills, um, which stopped her heart and killed her, which is, so now we know how that she died. We know how she died now, which is really huge. We now know how Allie's mother died. Um, so yeah, that's how they killed her. And Fender tells Allie that she thought her father killed Mrs. De Laurentiis, which could be true. That very much could be true, and I understand why she would think that, because it very much could be true. So then Ari visits Ezra and tells him that she can't stop thinking about Shauna's family. He tells her, and, you know, she can't stop watching that clip. She can't stop watching her family, um, you know, like, cry in sorrow for her. She's really upset about that, and Ezra tells her to forget about it, um, to forgive herself. Because Ezra then tells her how, when he told her about writing that book, and I like that he said this to her. He says how, when he told her that he wrote that book... Um, last year, if you remember, you know, the, in Freefall, in that episode, he, it was very hard for him to forgive himself, but eventually he did, and he says she can too for something like this, because, honestly, but the thing is, what Arya did is bigger than what Ezra did, even though it's just as bad, I don't know if she's gonna be able to forgive herself. Arya, as we know, is, takes things very, very hard, like, when Ezra did the thing to her, she took that very hard, and now that this has happened, I really don't know if Arya's gonna be able to, we'll have to see what happens there, but that was definitely a very big scene, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what's gonna happen there. So Paige tells Emily that people are preparing for Allie to come back to school and that they're not happy about it, warning Emily to stay away from Allie when she returns to Rosewood. So basically, Emily has to stay away from Allie, but I don't think she's going to because Emily, as we know, is very close with Allie right now. By the way, um, Arya talked to Emily before and asked her, when you killed Nate, um, um, did you look through a whole bunch of... Did you not stop thinking about it? Like, And um, Emily says how there's this package, of course and how she couldn't stop looking at it and everything, and she tells her that it's normal. I like that we're getting a lot of comparisons between Emily and Arya this season. Like, I think that's cool that, we're do that they're doing that this season. It's really something we haven't really gotten to um, in the show, and I think that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Um, definitely, it's really cool. So, meanwhile, Hannah can't take the stress of living in Allie's shadow anymore and finds release by falling into the old habit of shoplifting as a way to cope, which, that's not good. Al Hannah's shoplifting now, which, that's gonna get her in a lot of trouble, which I really hope that doesn't happen to her, because Hannah, honestly, is not stupid. She's really not. She's not stupid. She's smart, and... I think what's happened is that she's just so much like Allison, you know, think about it, she's blonde like Allie, she is pretty like Allie, she's she's hot, not as hot as Allie, but she's hot, all the girls on this show are hot, um, so she's hot like her, and she, um, but the thing is, she's gonna be constantly compared to Allie, and she's sick of it, so the only way for her to cope with that is to shoplift, which obviously is not a good thing, so I really hope that Hannah gets over that and decides to, you know, fix that, because she can't just keep shoplifting, because that's obviously not a good thing for her, so uh, I feel bad for Hannah, I definitely do, I think, I really hope it gets better for her, because she can't just keep shoplifting, it's not a good thing. So, Spencer then finds this, and then the very end of the episode, this is very interesting, um, really interested in seeing this, so, Spencer finds suspicious pills at her house, making her think that her father may have killed Mrs. De Laurentiis after all, I mean, that could, that does make sense, I could definitely see him doing that, and... Emily then finally goes to see Allie and tells her maybe she should move because it may not be safe for her. And Allie becomes very upset and tells her that they'll all be fine if they stick together. And, um, basically she does not want to move. That's why she doesn't want to move because she's going to be safe. If, if she's with them, they'll be safe pretty much. That's what she's worried about. She's worried about being unsafe. And Emily, as we know, also does have feelings for Allie. She has had feelings for Allie in the past. She's had, like, a, a crush on Allie, and those feelings might necessarily have gone away. They they talked about that in this episode, so we don't really know if those feelings went away, and that's a pretty big thing. So I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen there. I'm definitely, we're definitely going to see what happens there. But the very end of the episode, very, very big, because Spencer tells Arya that she and her mom suspect her father of killing Allie's mom, and Mr. Hastings then tells Spencer that they, he took her mom to a spa because she snapped, and, um, 
Spencer becomes very worried because she could be dealing with somebody who killed um, one of her best friend's parents. Um, obviously, you know, he says, Oh, I, you, don't worry, your mom went a little crazy, so I took her to the spa. She'll be back in a couple of days. But what did he really do to her? Did he really kill... Um, Mrs. De Laurentiis. Wow, was this a great episode. This was such a great episode. I absolutely loved it. I thought this was an amazing episode. And just, wow, I really did love it. Um, a couple things I am wondering, though. Did Spencer's dad really kill Mrs. De Laurentiis? It does make sense, especially with that thing he said at the end about him taking, um, Spencer's mother to the spa. I don't think he really took her to the spa. I think he, where he took her, um, was either he, he's, um, he's kept her, he's kept her trapped because she suspects things and he doesn't want her to, or he's just crazy and he's, I, I really don't know. I think he definitely is crazy and he definitely could have killed, he definitely could have played a part in killing, um, Allie's, Allie's mother. He definitely could have played a big part in that. I don't know if he necessarily did it, but at least he played a big part in it. I think he pretty much did. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, Arya and Shauna, um, you know, Shauna, Arya feeling bad for Shauna. What is Arya going to do? I feel like Arya is going to do something for Shauna's family in the next episode. I don't know what, but she's doing something for her family. I know she's going to. We're, we're going to see what happens there. Um, is Allie going to leave? Is Allie going to leave? I really hope she doesn't. She's the best character on the show. Please don't leave. She's the best character on the show. Um, is Emily going to leave Allie alone? We'll have to see. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see what happens there. But next week is the 100th episode of the show, as we know. Um, so it's going to be really big. Jenna's coming back. Caleb's coming back to, to full-time on the show. He's going to be main character now, and he's going to be full-time. Um, the Ravenswood characters apparently are coming back as well. I don't know when this is happening, but they said that they're going to close out that storyline in an episode. I don't know if it's next week's episode, but there's going to be an episode where they close out the Ravenswood storyline, which is really awesome because, as you guys know, I love Ravenswood, and I really am happy that they're closing out that storyline. But, um, yeah, so next week's episode is going to be very interesting. It looks very intense. It also looks like it's going to be the episode where Allie and Mona finally have a confrontation, and, uh, what's gonna be interesting is, you know, why does Mona really want to do this to Allie? I mean, she, again, she has no reason to be upset with her. Allie gave her a makeover. She has no reason to be upset with her. I think Mona's, you know, I still think that Mona was the one that shot Ezra. I know it's probably not gonna come up, but I'm pretty sure she did. So we'll have to see what happens with Mona. Honestly, Mona's just a crazy bitch at this point. She's crazy, and she just, she's really creepy, honestly. She's just creepy, and you never know where she's gonna go. And that's the kind of character that I love, though, on this show, because that's what the show needs to be. So overall, best episode of the season. Absolutely loved it. Um, I thought it was a fantastic episode. So many big, big things in this episode, and I'm loving this season. I just think it's a perfect season. Also, Hannah going into shoplifting. What's going to happen with that? I think Hannah's going to get herself into a lot more trouble than she should be into, and I definitely think that's going to happen to her um, in this in the next episode, so we'll have to see what happens there. But that's been my review. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for Tyrant. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.